Hi, Mark Gordon with your Gold, Silver, and Spiders Report on Monday, November 7th, 2011. Looking here at the GLD, this is the uh, Gold ETF, and you can see that we have been in an uptrend for quite some time now, uh, all through October and now into November. Uh, the trend got going here uh, back in October, actually in late September, really started to show itself here. And then uh, uh, at the end of October here, it has turned up even stronger. Uh, today, Monday, was a fantastic day for gold, um, uh, reaching up here to the $175 mark on the GLD uh, and closing uh, uh, near the highs here, uh, just two cents off of the high on a pickup in volume and above average volume for the first time uh, in several weeks here. So gold looking good, uh, riding this, uh, this upper gray area, this upper Bollinger Band here. Uh, now, I want to scroll down here and show you uh, an indicator that I watch called stochastics, okay? When both the black and the red line, this is slow stochastics here, when, when both of those lines get above 80 for three days in a row or more, they're said to be locked in. And this is when you get big runs in the market. Uh, if uh, if uh, the uh, black line uh, breaks uh, 80, look out. A lot of traders will jump out of the markets and take profits, so you can watch that real closely on a daily chart. But uh, gold is clearly off and running here, up 2.42% today alone. And looking at a weekly chart of the GLD, you can see that once again, we are back up towards this upper trend line. Now, uh, this has been sort of overhead resistance uh, throughout this move uh, for the last uh, uh, about a year and a half here. Uh, we did get up above it, of course, uh, here uh, this summer. And, uh, and then had a really nasty pullback down to the lower trend line, which has been in effect for quite some time as well. So uh, be careful up in here. Uh, we have uh, quickly uh, uh, gotten back up into this area here. When you start getting above this, uh, it, it, the market is uh, looking a bit oversold, in my opinion. So uh, you uh, uh, sort of shorter term traders uh, might want to take some profits up in this area and uh, buy back on a pullback. Now anything can happen in the markets, of course. Uh, there's a lot of turmoil in Europe which is very favorable for gold. And we could eclipse these highs here, but um, uh, nonetheless, when you get up above here, it's time to really look out. And looking now at the SLV, this is the silver ETF. And silver having a nice day, not uh, on heavy volume though, as you can see down here, um, but certainly an up day here, up 2.65%. Now silver is not as strong as the gold. Uh, we are below this blue line, which is the 50 day moving average. Uh, and uh, which is uh, uh, below the black line, which is the 200-day moving average, and the green line, the 100-day moving average. So there's a lot of what we call overhead resistance up ahead. It's got to get through up above the blue line, the 50-day moving average, which currently is at 34.33. 34.33. Uh, we closed uh, uh, today at 34.08. So just up ahead is some overhead resistance here. Now, if we can get past that, then our next resistance will come uh, here at the 200-day moving average at 35.50, 35.50 on the SLV. And then right up above that is the 100-day moving average at 35.89. So lots of overhead um, uh, resistance on our way back up. So uh, silver trying to, uh, trying to put in a, 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 you know, a, a nice little move here. Uh, if you can get up above the, these key moving averages, uh, it's going to be a lot easier for uh, silver to sail back up into the 40s. But we've had a nice trend going here, sort of wide and loose, kind of tightening up now. Uh, definitely has a, uh, the trend has steepened to the upside, but still under the 50-day moving average. And looking at stocks now, this is the SPY. This is the uh, exchange traded fund for the S&P 500. Uh, got a good uptrend going here. We were in a downtrend here, very wide and loose downtrend. We tightened up here uh, in mid-October and have uh, uh, pretty much followed this nice uh, trend up. We did get up above it here, got a little bit overbought here towards the end of uh, October here, but quickly pulled back uh, to the lower trend line here. We are above uh, uh, the uh, green dotted line, which is the 100-day moving average, and we are above the 50-day moving average, which is pointing upwards. So that's a very bullish sign here. Um, we uh, got held back today at this black line, which is the 200-day moving average. So if we can clear that, we are above all the key moving averages. So a little bit of overhead resistance right up ahead here. And we also have this upper trend line to deal with as well. Uh, traders will be looking to take profits against that. And a lot of people have drawn this trend line like I have. So S&P 500 um, uh, holding its own, 
up a little better than half a percent today um, on on uh, lower volume. So um, markets, uh, you know, doing okay here. This uptrend, a bit of an uptrend, is still intact despite last week's uh, clobbering and volatility. And looking at a weekly chart of the SPY, uh, we can see uh, uh, the overhead resistance here at the 40-week moving average. We're stuck in between the 40 and the 20-week moving average, this green dotted line. Uh, but well above the 10-week, uh, which is pointed upwards, this blue line here. And uh, well off the bottoms here that we put in, uh, in uh, late uh, September. Uh, we sort of did uh, a, a double bottom kind of move. Uh, it came down here to 109.70 here in August, rallied back up, and then came down, undercut that low uh, to shake out the last of the week holders, and then quickly rallied up um, uh, four uh, up weeks in a row, uh, pull back week last week, and now we're up a little bit this week. So uh, S&P 500 trying to hold on to these uh, massive gains that it's had in the last uh, several weeks here. So that's it, everybody. Uh, gold looking real strong. Silver um, uh, putting in a good move here, trying to break free of uh, some overhead resistance. And the uh, S&P 500 stocks holding on to recent gains and stuck in a little bit of a trading range here. Uh, getting above uh, the 40-week moving average will certainly be bullish for the S&P 500. So uh, not a lot of doom and gloom here, uh, despite uh, all the terrible headlines. Um, of course, uh, you know, uh, the governments around the world are printing money to uh, get themselves out of uh, uh, the problems uh, created by too much debt. They're creating more debt to fight the debt, which I don't agree with, but it is uh, going to stimulate stocks if they keep this up. And it will also stimulate the precious metals. So thanks for watching. Good luck.